day 19 floss tube. Hello crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. My name is Caroline. Day 19 Flossmas Vlogmas and day 19 of our holiday countdown stitch along. So let's open up today's package and see what we have in store for us today. All right. Today's daily card treat has given us, we've got another song from Jacob today. How lucky are we? Beautiful. It's so fun, isn't it? To see the lady playing piano. Funny. Um, and the color of floss today, I don't know if you're ready for this. It's so good. I'd actually forgotten how much I liked this one. called Whistler and it is a lovely variegated soft teal green beautiful color so for our stitching today we are going to be adding in some leaves in four different places so let me bring the camera a little closer and I'll show you where we're focusing our stitching today we're going to be um, adding in some leaves surrounding both of our squirrels and some leaves on these vase motifs right there. And that's it for spots to stitch today. So let's get to it. Day 19 stitching is complete. We have all of our leaf motifs done in these four segments here. Squirrels are nestled in snug as bugs. That's it. So it is later in the day. It is um, just five after four. You guys, man, you guys are awesome. All of the comments and suggestions on this morning's video, which by the time, of course, that this goes up, it will be yesterday's video. Um, it has been so fun to read all of your comments and ideas and thank you. So I just wanted to address probably three main um, themes that are coming up and um, explain maybe a little bit more in detail because you know a lot of people have had the same idea about PDFs. Why not offer charts as PDFs? So it is later in the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read to you a comment that I wrote this morning um, in response to uh, Whitney. Whitney left me a great comment this morning and um, so I'm just gonna read to you what I wrote because I think I think it explains a lot better rather than me just trying to say it off the cuff here. So I said the daily PDF is an option that we have discussed and rejected for the past two years for a few reasons. Firstly, setting up the auto system is fraught with customer service issues. Email address errors being input incorrectly to begin with. It happens all the time. Um, it just takes one keystroke to get an email address wrong and that customer's email address is in there and they don't get the emails and they think we're not sending them, so on and so forth. Then as we find with our few PDF sales that we do now, and this isn't a huge issue because it might be one or two customer issues per week, but sometimes PDFs don't arrive. Those of you who purchased Laura's Frisian sampler, you'll know um, for some reason we seem to have some kind of glitch where 25% of the people they'd purchase the chart and for some reason they would not get the PDF sent to their inbox, they'd email us, and then we would have to manually send, we'd have to you know, prove that they'd purchased it and then manually send a, manually email them the PDF. Um, sometimes PDFs don't arrive or they go into spam folders and uh, we have to take the time to correct each individual issue. So you can imagine that daily times 25 PDFs, oh, sorry, hang on, daily emails times 25 days and upwards of 800 people who want their stitching now, right? They, they're ready to stitch. Uh, when, you know, perhaps we here at the Evertote team aren't at work. Maybe we're, you know, we're in different time zones. Maybe we're not at work. Maybe it's the weekend. Maybe it's dinner time. Um, and, you know, we get messages all the time on all social media platforms at all hours of the day when something is missing and it's not really a nice feeling to know that you've kind of spoiled somebody's daily treat right 
Uh, so this would be on top of sometimes missing floss, etc. So like I said, when we started this whole process, um, we're a small team here and we've been packaging, we packaged thousands upon thousands of envelopes and we, we fully expected that we might miss a couple. We were really hoping that it would be minimal. The probably the, the biggest, um, the biggest, uh, upset for me this year was that we, four people, um, missed getting their fabric on day one. And for me, that was really, I, I, I need to make sure that that doesn't happen again next year because that, you know, if you're missing a floss, we can get that out to you immediately, but you can continue on with the next day's stitching. Whereas if you're missing your fabric on day one, so I felt very badly about that this year. So the, the potential for problems with PDFs daily for so many people and so many email addresses is just an insurmountable thing for me to deal with, with my small business. Um, I do recognize that it would keep, it would, it would definitely, you know, take the cost of the box down, but, um, you know, the other thing is you, the, the cost of the cards. So that was the issue too. Several people suggested having, you know, if I was concerned about cost, we should print the daily cards on regular paper instead of cardstock. Well, I can tell you when you have things printed in bulk, like, like we do for this type of project, it's not really all that much more expensive to have it printed on cardstock versus, um, regular paper when you're factoring in that it's for one person, right? 25 cards, <clears throat> excuse me. So, for us, the quality of the cardstock, the quality of the image that Jacob is giving you on a daily basis, the quality of the artwork, for me, that's a non-negotiable. If we're providing you with a paper copy, I want it to look good. I want it to be a treat every day that you're opening. It's part of the experience. So that would remain on cardstock. And it's not really, it might save you a couple bucks on your box. In all honesty, it might save you a couple of dollars on your box to have it printed in regular paper versus cardstock. Um, it also probably would not change the shipping cost overly much because we would still have to provide the same size of box and that's really what determines the shipping cost. Um, da, 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 da. The rest of that had something, the rest of my message to her had more. Um, I just ended by saying that hard copies are the best way from a logistics point of view for us to handle this. Um, yeah, so PDFs are also problematic in that it's a lot easier for the mystery to be spoiled. It is so much easier to share a PDF with a friend. Hey, look at this. You should stitch this too. Let's face it. We all know what happens. Um, you know, PDFs get stolen all the time and posted on various websites around the world. And this ensures to the best of our ability that we can keep it as much of a surprise for a daily opening with a big reveal at the end of the month um, that everybody, everyone can enjoy um, and, and have it remain a special treat. So that's why up until now, PDFs have not been an option. I can't think that they'll probably be an option for 2024 either, but you know what? Things are never a hard no from me. I like to think that you know, we, we try to remain flexible and, you know, imagine, is there any way that we can do it at all if it's possible? So it would never be a hard no, but, um, for the foreseeable future, we will continue to carry on with the cardstock paper patterns. Uh, nice to know that everybody likes the size. Uh, there was a question, can we make it a little bit bigger, um, using up the entire eight by 11? That is, uh, that's an, that's a technical issue for Jacob and for me to discuss with both Jacob and the printer, see if I can work something out there. Uh, the symbols, Julianne had an excellent suggestion uh, this morning and something that I hadn't thought about. I mentioned yesterday, uh, filling in the squares with a solid black, um, square to, to designate your daily stitching of the day. And Julianne said that he had another pattern that was like that and it was very difficult to count because of course it's much, much harder to see the delineation of the lines in between your stitches. So 
I do think that, you know, reading everybody's comments, getting everybody's feedback, I do think that grayscale is probably a good way to go. Keeping the symbols, but making the next day's stitches darker than everything else that's come before. There's going to be a combo of my daily videos as well, um, really pointing out where the new stitches are happening. Um, you know, so if you've, if you've missed anything from a day or you have to go back and figure out what the color was, you know, there should be more than enough information to figure it out. And I liked that a couple of people felt that, you know, missing a few stitches here and there made it part of the mystery, trying to sleuth out, you know, what was going where and how was it different for the next day. Um, and I, I think that's, I think that's pretty fun. So I think I covered everything. I've probably forgotten a few things. Uh, but PDF was really the biggest, the biggest one. Um, so for me, cost savings when it comes to waste, I, I very carefully, you know, factor in all things when I'm looking into costs, you know, when we cost out products for people to buy, because I fully recognize that these are not inexpensive items. And so I want you to feel that you are getting good value for money, but also receiving something fairly special so when i when we order these things and i talk about you know cost and trying to save a bit of money uh i just feel like to me cardstock versus regular paper that's something that's worth it right because there's no there's no there's no better alternative for the cardstock whereas adding color we can achieve the same benefit of adding a color which adds cost doing it with black and white in a different way and being creative with how we do it and not having it cost more so I hope that makes sense you know I'm not I don't I don't want you to think that I'm complaining about you know a few leftover things at the end here and how much money I'm wasting and how much it's gonna cost me not that at all I simply I I love these kinds of discussions. I really, I, they, 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 um, they motivate me. Um, I love getting feedback like this from you on, on your experience with the box and what you've enjoyed and how you would like to see it change. And if, if there's something that's possible for me to do, then, you know, I think, uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a worthy conversation. So, Thank you everyone for taking the time to leave me such thoughtful comments yesterday. Um, I really, I've really been enjoying reading them. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm going to have the opportunity to respond um, to everyone who wrote me such great comments on this video. Um, you will at least get the heart button from me, but I'm hoping that this conversation that we're, that I'm having with you right now will sort of be my, my answer to your, to your time that you took uh, to, to write to me, which I, I really appreciate. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a busy day here. It's been a great day. Carrie and I put out a video this afternoon. We had a huge shop update today. Um, we have a new, um, which I mentioned yesterday, we have the new Salentine's box. I am going to be leading another stitch along that's going to begin on February 14th. It is not a mystery. All of the details um, can be found in the video that I put up with Carrie over on the Evertote notes from the workshop channel. Um, we also have a brand new uh, kit that we've put together with Jeanette Douglas with a spool design uh, based off of her Margaret Meadows chart and charted. She charted, she designed and charted it with Roxy Flosco. Uh, fabric and floss and then of course we introduced the brand new Evertote floss folio which uh, I've been using mine for the last couple months and it's fun really fun to finally see it in the shop so that's been great it's been a really good day it's been great so I am going to um, I'm going to probably you know it's only 20 after 4 I still have a few things to do here at the workshop before I go home uh, we are believe it or not getting some snow today. Can you believe it? After I was complaining the other day, remember, I think it was the poem. I think it was John reading the poem has brought us a little bit of snow today. So I don't know how much of it is going to stick. It's looking pretty wet and puddly out there. Nothing overly um, is, is accumulating. So that's kind of a, a bit of a bummer, but 
we'll see maybe we'll get some stick around later today so uh if there's anything i've missed with you know this this conversation you know feel free to leave me a, a comment so on that note i better get off with the rest of my day and i will see you tonight when i'm at home and show you today's finish of the day today's finish is little house needleworks little house a little tree a neighborhood for you and me i'm not exactly sure of the title on this piece but as you can see i finished it in 2011 and i changed neighborhood to reflect the um canadian british spelling i just i adore those little sheep they're so cute uh, i'm pretty sure this was a 32 count called for linen with called for flosses and this was a super enjoyable stitch really enjoyed this one yep. so that's today's finish of the day As I say goodbye for day 19, I thought I would leave you with the two photos that I wanted to share of Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus, the crafter, the knitter and stitcher. Aren't these fantastic pictures? Enjoy. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.